Hello dear students, this is business research methods and project work course tutorial. This is tutorial 3.4. The topic is scaling techniques and particularly I'll discuss ranking scale and rating scale. These two are very popular techniques used in various researches. The learning objectives are to understand the comparative scaling to understand the non-comparative scaling, then to know various comparative scaling techniques, to know various non-comparative scaling techniques, and to understand the differences between ranking scales and rating scales. Well, before discussing rating scale and ranking scale, here I'm going to discuss about type of scaling techniques. Scaling techniques can be categorized into two broad groups. One is comparative scaling techniques and the other is non-comparative scaling technique. Now ranking scale, it is categorized under comparative scaling technique and rating scale is categorized under non-comparative scaling technique. Now let's see what is comparative scaling technique and what is non-comparative scaling technique. Now, Comparative scaling technique involves the direct comparison of stimulus objects. For example, respondents may be asked whether they prefer Coke or Pepsi. So these two brands are presented to the respondents and they are asked that which is preferable for them. Now there is a comparison, they need to do a comparison between these two brands and that's why it is called comparative scaling. Now, non-comparative scaling is that here each object is scaled independently of the others in the stimulus set. The respondents do not make use of any frame of reference before answering the question. Now, you recall the earlier example, what do you prefer between Coke and Pepsi? So, there the respondents need to do a comparison between the two brands, Coke and Pepsi. But here, in case of non-comparative scaling technique, the respondents are presenting the question in a different way. Say, do you prefer Coke? Or say, how much you prefer Coke? So, red or please indicate how much you prefer Coke, uh, sorry, how much you like Coke by giving points out of 10. So, in this way, the question may be presented. Respondents answering non-comparative scale-based questions do not compare the object being rated either to another object or to some specified standard. They evaluate only one object at a time. Now, if you compare or try to understand the difference that exists between comparative scaling and non-comparative scaling, I believe it is pretty much clear from the example that I have already discussed. In the example, what do you prefer between Coke and Pepsi? So, comparison between these two brands. Then, or maybe say, there may be three or four brands that are presented and the respondents are asked to uh, give rank based on their preference. Then if the non-comparative scaling technique is used by the researcher, in that time the question will be asked in a different way. Say here in the same example, the how much the respondent like the soft drink brands that uh, I have already told in example, then uh, that may be asked in this way. How much you like Coke? Please rate, rate or give points out of 10, out of 20, out of 100. So what is the scale used that will be again dependent on the researcher. Then comparative scale data must be interpreted in relative terms. Must be interpreted in relative terms. Now see, again I am talking about example. What do you prefer between Coke and Pepsi? Suppose the respondent Answer is that I prefer Coke than Pepsi. It does not indicate that Coke 
is the most preferred brand of soft drinks of all the all the brands that is available in market it's not like that but here the respondents is uh, telling the preference of coke in comparison to pepsi only so that is called relative terms and comparative scale data it results ordinal or rank order among the objects or among the stimulus that is been presented to the respondent in case of non comparative scaling the respondents do not make use of any frame of reference before answering the question so any frame of reference so here the respondents are not asked to compare the presented stimuli or the object to any other things just they are asked how much rating they are going to or they are likely to give in that particular object then comparative scaling is also referred as non metric scaling now why because the resulting data is ordinal scale the resulting data is ordinal scale data now you have already learned in measurement scale tutorial that ordinal data or ordinal scale it results uh, non metric data now what is non metric data do you see that in rank order some numbers are associated but those numbers you cannot apply any arithmetic operation like addition subtraction multiplication division so those arithmetic operations are not applicable in case of ordinal data and it is called non metric scaling but in case of non comparative scaling the resulting data is normally assumed to be interval or ratio scale data and that's why researcher can apply arithmetical operations in those data so this is a higher order scale in comparison to comparative scaling technique now let's discuss some of the comparative scaling techniques now rank order scaling so this is one of the most common and popular technique in comparative scaling technique category now this is popular among researchers when they are trying to understand a specific rank order among various stimuli this scaling technique uses comparison between stimuli objects using a predetermined criteria in the absence of such criteria this technique may deliver biased results respondents are presented with several objects simultaneously and asked to order or rank them according to some criteria the respondents are provided with various stimuli objects and asked to rank the most preferred object the second most preferred object and so on the advantage of rank order scaling is that this technique is very easy to understand and the disadvantage is that it cannot provide an objective difference between various stimuli objects now this thing you have also learned in measurement skills that ordinal scale data is not sufficient to give the magnitude of difference between two objects and that is the limitation associated with this particular technique now here you see the example rank say in the questionnaire the researcher is presenting this question to the respondent rank the following three tea brands on the basis of their criteria oh, sorry on the basis of their aroma now here we have already discussed that this a scaling technique uses comparison between stimuli objects using a predetermined criteria in the absence of which it deliver biased result now here in the example what is the criteria used the criteria is aroma so on the basis of the criteria aroma the respondents are going to give rank to the three t brands that are mentioned in the questioner now instructions is given 
in the parenthesis give rank 1 for the most strong aromatic tea brand second rank for the second most strong aromatic tea brand now how come the respondent will know which is the second most strong aromatic tea brand so for this the respondent need to compare among the three tea brands so that is a reference point and three for the least aromatic tea brand now once the respondent decide the best tea brand based on the aroma criteria the best that is in the mind of respondent that also you need to keep note now the respondent will give rank one to that particular tea brand which the respondent think that is the most strong aromatic tea brand then the second most strong aromatic tea brand in the mind of the respondent will secure second rank and the third mo third least aromatic tea brand that will secure rank three in the mind of respondent and this response will be presented in the questionnaire now here in the example the rank one obtaining brand in the mind of respondent will act as a reference point for the rest too but this is not necessary that what is occupying rank one in say in one respondent mind so that will also secure rank one in another respondent mind it's not like that because people's tastes are different and their perceptions their attitudes are different and according to that they will determine uh, which they will give rank one which they will give rank two and which they will give rank three so these ranks are relative only now this is a technique which is known as paired comparison scaling technique so this is also a comparative scaling technique so the name suggests that in this technique a respondent is presented with two objects and asked to select one according to some criteria so i already to talked about criteria criteria means any attribute or feature of a product or whatever that thing uh, so any feature associated to that particular thing now for example a respondent may be asked to choose between two well-known tea brands now here say two that you mind two that is to make that to make a pair tea brands on the criteria of aroma now say the the questions or the item is presented in this way preference between brand a and brand b so which is preferred brand brand a or brand b that need to indicate that need to indicate by the respondent now there may be a situation that there are more than two stimuli involved now those things can be also accommodated through paired comparison scaling say see how let's say a researcher is interested in knowing consumers preference among three number of tea brands a b and c using the paired comparison scaling researcher will create three questions for respondents namely preference between tea brand a and brand b so this is one pair then see the other pairs preference between t brand b and brand c now earlier pair it was a and b now it is b and c and see the third pair third pair is brand a and brand c so this three pairs this arise from the three brands three three brands that are presented to the respondents for comparison now in case the respondents if the researcher believe that respondent will find it difficult to compare all the three brands together or if there is more than two that may be a situation that there are four five or six the numbers we cannot limit so that will depend on the study of the researcher 
Now, if the researcher feel that the respondent feel it difficult, they find it difficult to compare all the objects at a time. So, in that case, the researcher may present the stimuli or the object as a pair, as here I have shown in the example. Now, this paired comparison technique. So, the paired comparison that can be transformed to rank order also because this is a kind of uh, ordinal scale and that's why it can be transformed to rank order. Under the assumption of transitivity, it is possible to convert paired comparison data into a rank order. Now, the earlier example that I have shown you in the last slide. So, here this is, you see, comparison between A and B, B and C and A and C, the three pairs. So, now say these are the responses are coming. Say one respondent has given the response in this way. Preference between T brand A and brand B. So, preference get uh, is brand A. Then preference between T brand B and C. So, who is getting preference? C. Then the third pair, preference between T brand A and brand C. Who is getting preference? Brand A. Now, which is the most preferred brand? Which is the second most preferred band, brand? And which is the third most preferred brand? So, this can be find out. So, how here you see the table? These brands are listed in horizontal way also, in particle way also. Now, say A, A. See, since it is a the pair the same brand so there is nothing to compare now say this is a and b now which is preferred whether b is preferred no a and b see here a and b between a and b a is preferred that's why here b is getting zero now between a and c see the cell c a here you will find that between A and C, C is not preferred and that's why C is getting 0. Then uh, coming to the third row, here you see between brand B and A, who is getting preference? A is getting preference, that, that's why here 1 is put. Then between B and B, nothing to compare. Then between B and C, there C is getting preference than B and that's why 1 point. Then similarly, here between C and A, A is preferred, that's why 1. So, C, sorry, C and B, so B is not preferred, that's why 0. Then C and C, there is nothing to compare. Now, if you add 1, or uh, if you add the points for A, you will get 2. Then for brand B, the point is 0. And for brand C, the point is 1. So, who is getting highest point? brand A is getting highest point among the three brands A, B, C and therefore A is getting first rank then the second rank is secured by C and B is securing third rank among the three brands. So in this way pair comparison scaling techniques can give the ordinal data for the brands. Pair comparison scaling is used in pricing decision frequently in marketing resources. In product testing also, it is used. It is quite helpful when the number of stimuli is limited. So till now, I have discussed two techniques under comparative scaling techniques, that is rank order scaling and Paired comparison scaling. So, this tutorial will be continued in another tutorial where I will discuss the non comparative scaling techniques. Thank you.